Awards is going to be coming shortly after a Nibiru type event, which could very well happen the spring of 2016. The moon turned to darkness before the Passover and before the release of the nation of Israel, God's chosen people. Jesus said that the time, the day is coming, that no flesh would be saved if it were not for the chosen ones. But because of the chosen ones, those days will be cut short. Because of the chosen ones, the chosen people. Who are the chosen people? Those people who can operate in a state of love in alpha and leave the beta fight and flight behind. You see, when that fruit was eaten, humans were given the beta operating system of the mind where we could fight and kill. And the worst thing that you can do is give a, an entity that has the right, the free will, uh, put them in beta where they're going to fight and kill each other or cause mayhem where people are going to have to flee, where we are in a reactionary state all the time. You know, if you're in that state of alpha, and, and it's interesting, in Revelation, Yahweh, speaking about himself, refers to himself as the Alpha and the Omega. And when you're in that state of Alpha, you're in a state of relaxed love. You're in a state of caring. You're in a state where you feel at peace with yourself and the world. So guess what? The beta test of Earth has failed, and it is time for a new paradigm. Under the new paradigm, we get our DNA repaired. This earth gets repaired. The Fukushima radiation, all of the nuclear waste that's been dumped, all of the toxic waste that's been dumped, all of the stuff that's killing the planet can be changed quickly. How? String theory gives us the answer. Change the vibration of the atomic structure of the uh, toxic ingredient. Once the vibration changes, the ingredient changes or the atomic structure changes so the properties of that item change. And so guess what? With a sonic blast or a vibrational blast, nuclear radiation is no longer an issue. All the pollution is no longer an issue. It can all be made inert just by vibration, controlling the vibration. The earth will be restored. It'll be brought back to its original paradigm. And once we are restored to the original paradigm, to get an idea of where that original paradigm will bring us, the only record of perfect human DNA on the earth since the time of the first seeding of the first human couple is that of the Christ, the Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus. There was perfect DNA. What could he do? Eh. According to the record, he could walk on water, change water into wine, control the weather, raise the dead, cure the sick, heal the blind, feed thousands with leftovers. And could you imagine if we were like that? All of the inhabitants of earth had those abilities. And when we get to Revelation, the 21st chapter, it says that there will neither be mourning nor pain nor outcry anymore. Death will be no more. The former things will have passed away. I mean, we're not going to die. We'll overpopulate this planet at no, in no time. No, for the tent of God will be with mankind. We will have that spiritual connection. We will have more than what we can understand. We will have abilities we have no idea about right now. And there are trillions of Earth-like planets just waiting to be inhabited by human children of God. And that, my friends, is, our, is the prime directive not just for Earth, but for the third dimension. That is what the intention was for the human children of God, to fill the third dimension with love. I'm going to give you, a, a, we're going to end with this note. What is God? Very quickly, we know by physics, you can either create nor destroy energy. And when you go to Revelation, we are told that Yahweh is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning, the end. Uh, before him, it says nothing existed, and after him, nothing will exist. Now, we know we can neither create nor destroy energy. So that means that at one time, there could have only existed pure dynamic energy, the God particle. And we know this energy was intelligent. We know it was conscious. It was alive. 
And something caused this energy to change. This energy came up with a concept which changed it into the 10 dimensional plus multiverse in which we live. Because it all connects back to the vibration of the God particle across all the dimensions. So what was it that inspired this pure dynamic energy to change and become an event horizon, the alpha horizon? It was a concept. It was the concept of love. It works on so many different levels. You can love your car. You can love your house. You can love your, your dog. You can love your kids. You can love your parents, your family. You can love that significant other like no one else can. You can love so much and never run out of love. And you can get so much and you, the more you get, the better you feel. The more you give, the better you feel. And so in First John, the fourth chapter, the eighth verse, we read, God is love. Maybe that's why Jesus told us the greatest commandment was to love Yahweh, your God, with your whole heart, soul, and mind, and to love your neighbor as you do yourself, because he's your brother, regardless of his skin, regardless of what they look like, regardless of where they grew up, what religion they studied. Uh, they're human. They're children of God, and they're our brothers. Think about that. So we don't want to take up arms and go to war against our own brothers. This is an interdimensional war. It's time to sit this one out and let the king of kings come to power on his own time. We have a fantastic future ahead of us. And like I like to say, if you're not around after Armageddon, you're going to miss a whole lot of loving because there's going to be a whole lot of loving going on after Armageddon. And if you're not there, you are definitely going to miss it because we will rebuild. We will have that original prime directive restored. And it'll give you something to do. You know, just think. You ever wanted, you always wanted to be king of the world. How'd you like to have your own planet? One where every person on that planet was your child, grandchild, great-grandchild. You know what? At this stage of the game, we're even going to throw in an option on a galaxy. Folks, you can have, for today and today only, you can not only have a planet, but if you sign up, you can have your own galaxy because there's plenty of them out there. And, with an, more, and, and and you can pay for it in installments. <laughs> you know what? We're going to give it to you free. No, 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 no. Even, be. even better, even better. You can pay for it in installments via credit card. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you can pay for it with a credit card. Why not? <laughs> but, you know, that is the eventuality. This is the beginning. This is the shakeout period. This was the beta test, and the beta test failed. Folks, do you want to live in a beta fight and fight uh, reactionary lifestyle for the rest of your lives being ruled by maniacal people who just soon see you dead? Or would you rather live your life in a state of love, a state of harmony, a vibration that also synchronizes with the very planet in which we live? Yes. That state is yeah. called Colorado because they just legalize weed. <laughs> You know, God said um, uh, that everything that produced seed was good to eat. So here is where the law of man has overstepped the law of God by it making a plant which grows naturally on this planet illegal. Enough said about that topic because we can talk about that. That's a whole other show. Uh, but here's where we are. We're at a time where we have to awaken and reading letters to earth will give you the answers, where we came from, why we are here, and what our future is going to be. With that, folks, I'm going to say thanks for listening. It's been a pleasure to be able to talk to everyone here. Love and blessings to all. Visit my website. Download a, P a PDF copy of Letters to Earth. It'll cost you five bucks. I don't know. I'm sure you, you, your exchange rate is pretty close to ours. You can start reading it tonight www.peterkling.com. Join me on Facebook. I got some great Facebook friends. There's still room there. We keep track of the world. 
and what's going on. We live in critical times, difficult to deal with. It's time to prepare for the worst, pray for the best. Love and blessings to everyone. Have a great night. Indeed. All right. And also, ladies and gentlemen, bear in mind, this is a listener-supported broadcast. So if you do like the idea of interviewing uh, great thinkers and authors and MDs and lawyers and journalists and goodness knows who, who else kind of people have got on the show, but if you like that idea, if we're doing it commercial-free, if you're letting people have a few laughs and that kind of thing, and if you like the old entertaining factor as well as the fact that you're actually learning something every single show, I certainly am, then please, for the love of all, Norwegian cheese. Go to the VinnieEastwoodShow.com. There's Vinnie with a Y because it's the most important question and Eastwood as in go ahead, make my news. And donate today. And uh, the other preference that we have here is to make a regular donation. You can donate up as little as a dollar a month or as much as a hundred dollars a month as, as some listeners do. And all it does, just pay for all the facilities so that we can continue producing the show for you. And, um, yeah, the media's not doing their job, so I'm not going to complain about them. I'm just going to go ahead and frickin' replace them, because they're no longer relevant. All right. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see you again sometime, assuredly. Of relaxed love. You're in a state of caring. You're in a state where you feel at peace with yourself and the world. So guess what? The beta test of Earth has failed, and it is time for a new paradigm. Under the new paradigm, we get our DNA repaired. This Earth gets repaired. And leave the beta fight and flight behind. You see, when that fruit was eaten, humans were given the beta operating system of the mind, where we could fight and kill. And the worst thing that you can do is give a, an entity that has the right, the free will, uh, put them in. Is going to be coming shortly after a Nibiru type event, which could very well happen the spring of 2016. The moon turned to darkness before the Passover. And before the release of the nation of Israel, where they're going to fight and kill each other. Or cause mayhem where people are going to have to flee. Where we are in a reactionary state all the time. You know, if you're in that state of alpha, and it's interesting. In Revelation, Yahweh speaking about himself refers to himself as the alpha and the omega. And when you're in that state of alpha, you're in a state of God's chosen people. Jesus said that the time, the day is coming, that no flesh would be saved if it were not for the chosen ones. But because of the chosen ones, those days will be cut short. Because of the chosen ones, the chosen people. Who are the chosen people? Those people who can operate in a state of love in Alpha.